These are your Harvard University Top 5 Plays of the Week. At number 5, Field Hockey. With Harvard leading 5-1 in the third quarter against Brown, a beautiful series of passes gave Natalie Sicker an opportunity to find the back of the net, and she did not waste it. Some great stick handling led to her second goal of the day, helping Harvard notch a 9-1 win against the Bears on Sunday. At number four, women's soccer. Putting Harvard on the board early, junior Murphy Agnew played a give and go with first year Angela Koboya and deposited the shot into the lower corner while being upended by the big red goalkeeper. Agnew scored or assisted on every goal for the Crimson in a three nothing win over Cornell. At number three, women's rugby. With a little over a minute to go in the game, Sabrina Kim broke free for her second try of the year. That put the Crimson up over 100 points on the day. This is the Crimson's first 100-point game since September of 2017. Harvard would go on to beat Notre Dame College from Ohio 105 to nothing to extend its win streak to three in a row. At number two, field hockey. With Harvard leading 3-1 early in the second quarter, senior captain Benta Van Vlyman made a great run off a restart, beating three Brown defenders and poking a shot past the goalkeeper to put Harvard in front by three. The Crimson went on to beat Brown 9-1, matching a school record for goals in a game. At number one, football. Midway through the fourth quarter with the Crimson leading 28-16, James Herring blocked a Cornell punt from the 23-yard line, giving Harvard the ball deep in the big red zone. The Crimson took over at the 32-yard line and went on to score to add to its lead at 35-16. With Herring's blocked punt, the Crimson have now blocked five punts over the last two weeks. That's it for this week's Top 5 Plays. Check out the Ivy League on ESPN for more live and on-demand content.